What's going on everybody in the stream on YouTube? Um, I wanted to kind of make this video really quick um, because I had a discussion on Twitter the other day with, a, with people and essentially the discussion was about um, you know pretty much how online doesn't matter and people were kind of saying oh you know you know if you're beating somebody online blah 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 like no okay no there is none of that okay online doesn't mean anything online in fighting games rather more appropriately doesn't mean anything you're consistently beating someone online all the time like all the time like a hundred percent of the time and they're not beating you at all they're not coming close to beating you or if you're winning like 80 percent of the matches or 90 percent of the matches that's one thing okay but when you, for example, I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about like online tournaments since COVID and everything is a thing right now. I want to sh t show you guys what I'm talking about. And this is just from DOA. So obviously it's going to apply in every other fighting game as well. But, um, you know, I kind of wanted to make this video and talk about it because I feel like it's important to do so. So again, the discussion was about whether or not online matters in fighting games if you're beating someone. Um, you know, when we're talking about a competitive standpoint like tournament and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you know, things are very, very sensitive and everything that matters in a match is very important. And I don't know if you guys know, but when you guys are playing online fighting games, you know, first and foremost, let's talk about fighting games in general, right? See all that data at the bottom, frame data, how it says frame and advantage and, you know, recovery, everything, blah, blah, blah. That stuff can only accurately be uh, shown in real matches offline, okay? You know, there's going to be times where you're playing this game online and any other fighting game online and you'll be like, damn, like, how's this guy beating me with that jab? Like, his jab is 10 frames, I have a 9 frame. How's that guy's forward punch beating me? Mine's 11 frames, his is 12. Especially at the beginning of the match. Um, people don't understand, and it's, this is primarily something that comes from online players, like people who have only played the game online. Until you play a game offline in a tournament in the setting where the game matters the most and in a setting where the game is played the best and you're playing in an offline setting, offline in a tournament or casual, whatever. Um, you're not going to know how it feels to really play the game. And there's a lot of stuff in these fighting games um, that happens online a lot of the times that is not accurate. So, for example, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Every little thing in a fighting game match is crucial. Every time a move hits you on block, it's crucial. Every time a move hits you on hit, it's crucial. Every grab that connects is crucial. So let's talk about Ayane, right? One of, one of Ayane's main moves that people love to use with this character is for a forward kick back kick the reason why is because because the move as you can see i'm negative one that means ayani has plus one frame advantage correct right so when you're playing in an online setting okay you're not always going to be able to duck that move which means that ayane is going to have false frame advantage which means that you're in a false situation that should have you should have never been in, in the first place and this happens online a lot okay so for example let me show you what you can do to this move you see how i ducked under that and i'm plus 27 plus 27 and negative one is a big difference okay someone can do this to you online and if you don't duck it because of an online delay or because of whatever it is you're at a disadvantage where you shouldn't have even been in the first place and you have to be able to react to that move properly so another thing that could happen, you could be playing online and get hit by that move and be at even more disadvantage because you tried to duck it. You're at negative 28 at that point, which means Ayana can do whatever she wants. So this is something that you'll see in a lot of other fighting games like Tekken. You'll see a lot of moves um, that give you plus frames or actually highs. Like uh, Nina has like this high kick, high kick string. I think it's a mid high or something like that, but it gives her frame advantage. You know, um, Mishimas can spam electrics online and you can't duck them because of the delay. Um, a lot of that stuff is very crucial in fighting games and you know in fighting games math is super important like to be able to know where you have frame advantage and where you don't so if you to not be able to duck a move like that and get your frame advantage um it's it's very crucial because that can hit me and leave me at a disadvantage that i should have never been at that could cost me the match i could be here and that could cost me the match literally that could cost me the match not be able to duck that in the proper setting but offline okay i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with that move offline okay you can go under that and take her back. You can go under that and get a guaranteed launcher. That's guaranteed. Okay. You can do that. Okay. That's all guaranteed. That's all guaranteed. Every single time, bro. I'm going to miss that punish and miss out on all this damage because of an online delay. And not being able to duck something properly online. Isn't that insane? And people try to say, oh, you know, online matters, online tournaments. Like, I could be fighting the best Ayane player in the world, and I can't duck this because of online on reaction. Like, that's sad. Okay. 
So if you guys out there saying online matters and stuff like that, like, if you're beating someone 30,000 matches to nothing, okay. But a match can never truly be, um, you know, you can't really decide whether you're better than someone consistently if you're playing in an online setting. And I hate when people try to say that online is, like, important. Like, bro, it's not. It's not important at all. Like, until you go offline where the game matters, and you're never going to know if you're truly better than someone. Let's just say you got that person who's always going back and forth with. You could go offline and whoop that person's ass 10-0 because the game actually plays the way it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to make this video for you guys. This is not just for DOA. This is for Tekken. This is for Mortal Kombat. This is for any fighting game. And for the FTC in general because it seems like people really think the online matters. And I have to let you guys know that it fucking doesn't. Make sure you guys leave a subscription, leave a comment, and a like, and your thoughts on the video as well. And I will see you in the next video.